Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2. Today I have a flip through for you. Um, recently I made a junk journal out of an old book cover and I had posted it on our Facebook group um, just with the collage I was making and there was some interest in a flip through. So I went ahead and turned on the camera here. Um, this journal will be for sale in our Etsy shop so I'll make sure to leave the listing down below. So thank you for joining me today for um, just a fun and easy video um, with this nature journal. So um, I've just collaged up the front. There's book page on here and digitals and cheesecloth and fabric. I put a book plate on there made out of metal. And um, these are permanently attached to the cover with this clip and I put a, a little owl charm on there. So it has four signatures and I've sewn them directly into the cover. And the closure is Sari Silk. So let me just unwrap this a little bit so we can see the cover a little bit better. So the spine, I reinforced it at the top and the bottom here with fabric and I sewed the signatures directly into the spine and I left the title. So it's, it came from a book entitled The Best Loved Poems of the American Poets. American People, sorry, American People, clearly. <laughs> and the back is just plain. It's dinged up a little bit right here, but that's just the nature of having um, a lovely repurposed book cover. So I was thinking about putting a little label there, so I think I will do that. I'll put a little label there, and I think that'll make it lots of fun too. All right, so let's start. So it has 144 pages, and it's all coffee stained or different eco stains as we can, um, as we go through. So it's, uh, the spine is reinforced with Tyvek and fabric, so it's pretty sturdy. And the end papers are something I'm super proud of. Um, Cindy and I got together and did a lot of hand marbling, and so um, it's a digital in our shop. So we have some hand marbled, and this is from hand marbled digitals, and this is from our it's basically just called green group, green group. So that's one of the patterns and this is the other pattern here with green with a little bit of blue in it. But the one I chose to use was the one that had more gold in it. So um, anyway, onto the front cover. Um, I attached, this is, as you can see, from a file folder, from a vintage file folder and I I'm going to take these out so you can see it a little bit better. I made it into a double pocket, so there, the pocket back here, and this is just collaged onto the file folder, a little bit of collaging and stitching here, and then I left this part open for another pocket. So, And then I've got book page in there and some journaling cards. I used a lot of Lorna Taylor's kit, and, and I don't remember the title of it. Um, I also used uh, quite a bit of Tracy Fox in here as well. Um, this tag has another tag stitched onto it and I just made a little fold out booklet to just tucks right in there so it's like a double a double tag. All right so um, here is an envelope and I put a pocket on this side and then this part has some journaling paper and a journaling card on it. And that just slips in there. Here's a vertical belly band and I have some Tim Holtz cards. I don't know, I can't remember what he calls them, but they're like just collaged cards. Very, very pretty. And um, these can be used um, even though they're busy. You can still journal on them as is, or because there's a lot of you know white space on here, or you can attach a piece of paper on it or a photo and use them use them up. But um, they're also very decorative. So anyway, I just put a clip on there to keep those in place, even though they they stay in place pretty well. Um, I've done some stamping and stenciling on some of these pages, coffee staining. Um, I have four tabs and they each have a charm on them and they're all related to nature somehow. Um, so here's a pocket with a tag, a little bit of collaging there. This is avocado stained paper, a little bit of collaging up here with some lace stained paper and some 
um, patterned paper. This is a fabric ruffle here. It has keys on it, the key, a key pattern. This is the center of the signature, so I've done some stenciling and ink uh, splattering on there. A little pocket with, this is another one of the Tim Holtz cards, and I've stitched some um, cheesecloth on that. Made a, a long skinny tag, and I've uh, collaged it up and did some collaging here on the pocket as well. The other side of the avocado stained paper, there's some washi tape, and I've um, I did some coffee stained lace on here, and this one is plain, but these two tags are just clipped right onto the page. This has more stenciling and stamping on it. This is the flap of the envelope, and so I made it into a little tuck spot. So I have a collaged up tag on there. A little bit of stamping. The next signature here, some washi tape. This is um, turmeric stained paper. Some stenciling on this next page here. And the short page I made into a tuck spot and there is some more coffee stained lace um, staining on the back of this tag here. And I believe that's a Tracy Fox tag. A little bit of collage, and here's an envelope with a few. I think it's got a couple little cards in here. Let's make sure. Oh, so okay. so it does have a, a coffee stain lace pattern on the back of that, and also a piece of coffee stain lace scrap to tuck in on this envelope. And I just attached it with a clip running over the top here. And more stencil, stencil, well, stamping. It's all stamping on here. This is uh, patterned paper. And the center of the signature has some coffee stained lace paper. We have some of these in the shop too. More stamping. And here on this little tab is a green jewel. A little bit of fabric snippet, just sort of ruffled on there, small pocket with a little collage paper on there. This is all glued directly onto the paper. It's got some uh, brads, metal brads on there. Um, this is a short page and I put a little stamp with a little bit of fabric so it's kind of a mini snippet. Stenciling on here. This is the other half of the turmeric stained paper. And here's some seed packets and each one of these has um, a tag in it. I was almost pulling too hard. It wasn't coming but it definitely wasn't stuck so I'm not sure what I did there. This has a, a ticket um, with a fabric tab on it. And so those just clipping on. Um, so there's some coffee rings on here and some stenciling, um, music page, av avocado stained paper. Here's another envelope flip and this has um, a larger tag on it. This might be an Artie Mays tag, I'm not sure though, but I know she does use roses quite a bit, so that could be from her. Here's a snippet and this pocket has, a, or this side of the envelope has a, like a double pocket. So there's some journaling cards on there. This is double-sided patterned paper. And then on the inside are some larger Tim Holtz um, cards once again here. Nice big size. This tab has a leaf charm on it. Washi tape up here. Here's another pocket. This came from um, a book on uh, flowers. I'm trying to see if the title of the book is on here. It's not. But this is actually a recipe. And then there's some poems or some little sayings on the back here. Cicero, Mark Twain, E.B. White, 
William Channing. Um, here's a collaged tag. So those are just tucked in the pocket there. More lace stained paper. A small pocket with a collage tag and there's a collage on here too. Center of the signature, this beautiful paper. I believe this is Lorna Taylor's paper. Taylor Main Journals is her, um, her shop name. So this is just a scrap of paper and I folded it in half and just put it along the edge of this page. It's got a nice big journaling spot there. This is the flap of the envelope. So here's some washi tape on here. Um, a, a vintage bingo card and some scraps of paper, which you could definitely use for journaling. More avocado stained paper. I guess it's the other side of the other one. This is collaged up. Here's music sheet and more uh, stenciling with the coffee rings on it. Last signature. There's a fabric snippet up there. That's some uh, a little leftover scrap from some hand-painted um, covers I had made. So this has ink spray treatment with some stenciling and stamping on it. There is a co little collage section there. Here is a vellum um, pocket, and I just put a large um, tag on it and stenciled on the back and I believe this is I believe that is um, Tracy Fox from one of her collage sheets I just made it into a tag so there's some more um, turmeric stained paper I think this one has such interesting design on it I really love that one and more journal cards and I just uh, clipped those right on here these beautiful uh, beautiful patterns here. Just gorgeous papers, both from um, both from Tracy Fox and Lorna Taylor. They're just stunning. So here's like a little short page here. Um, these are from Tracy Fox, and I just ran a line of stitching down there and uh, collaged those on. Here's a couple little tags for this pocket. Got some collaging, and that one's plain, but. Oh, it does have some lace staining on the back, and this one has a collage on it with the collage on the pocket. So I did some stenciling and stamping on here, so there's some just some greenery. Um, I stained a doily with some beautiful nature type colors. This is the center of the signature and the other half of the doily. And there's more stamping and stenciling there little um, snippet collage up there. Here is a charm. It's a little key. So this pocket has uh, a shaker element to it. So I had made a little seed packet shaker card there and that can can be used just for fun or you could actually journal on it or put a photo on it. Some lace that I um, glued onto the page. This is the other half of that vellum pocket. So it has another beautiful, I did stitch lace on them both, the other one and this one, and this one has some uh, crinkle ribbon on it and some stenciling on the back. And that just slips right in there. Some washi tape here on the side. Um, I cannot remember who gave me this, um, this vellum, uh, envelope pocket but um, she gave me so much lace and it was just beautiful happy mail so if I remember her name I will definitely put it down below um, I sometimes get so disappointed in myself where did I put that because I have it written down somewhere um, so here is a pocket and I did um, put some stained paper on the back and some washi tape on the back and there's some sari silk, which I just bent because it didn't fit in the pocket all the way. So I just bent that down a little bit. Uh, more ink treatments and stenciling on here. And the last page of this beautiful, beautiful paper. So on the back, I have um, a slotted pocket. So let me take all these things out. There are just different um, journal cards, little tags. 
another beautiful card. I put a, a larger um, coffee stain lace tag on there, and this is collaged on. So I just wanted to sh take a minute to show you this um, slotted pocket. Um, I will be putting um, a page of the, I'm not sure how many I can fit on a page, probably just two, but I'm going to put um, a sheet of this in our freebie section, the file section, um, in our Facebook group. So feel free to join us at ideas times two Facebook group and you'll have to be accepted into the group and once you are you have access to our freebies file which we have several things in there but I'm going to add this as well so um, I don't think I'm allowed to copy you know just um, um, just things I've glued on but I will um, decorate one up for you and then I'll have a plain one as well all right, so um, that is it, guys. Um, you requested a little flip through, and it's a great idea anyway, because I will be having this in our Etsy shop. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me and taking a few minutes out of your day to, to watch the video. I appreciate it so much. And um, I'll leave all of our information down below where you can find us. And um, I think that's it. Have a great 4th of July weekend, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.